वेलकम स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम हाउ वी केम टू बी इन्वायरमेंटल स्टडीज पार्ट टू स्टैंडर्ड फिफ्थ लेसन नंबर फाइव एवोल्यूशन ऑफ मैन काइंड मॉड्यूल वन स्टूडेंट इन प्रीवियस लेसन वी स्टडीड अबाउट एवोल्यूशन विच मीन्स ग्रेजुअल एंड कंटिन्यूस चेंजेस सो स्टूडेंट इन दिस मॉड्यूल वी विल लर्न अबाउट हाउ द एप्स इवॉल्व इन टू अ प्रिमेटिव मैन सो लेट्स सी टूवर्ड्स अ चैप्टर एवोल्यूशन ऑफ मैन काइंड learning objectives of our chapter evolution of mankind module 1 homo habilis to homo sapiens sapiens the skilled man homo erectus homo neanderthalis the skill man the skill human the species of human who could use the hands skillfully is known as the skill human student this species use the hand skillfully as they are able to use both of the hands and legs they are also able to perform many activities and can do much more things than any other animals hence that's why they were said to be the skilled human or skillful man all of them were able to perform different types of activities which would help them in survive they also fetch and make the shelter with the help of their hands you all know student how helpful our hands are they almost helps in every parts of our life without hand it would be difficult to us to do our job perfectly and because of this species who were able to use their hand were known to be skilled human so on your screen you can see that how the man is collecting the roots and how they are heating one stone with another and making the new object so in this you can see that this apes were using the hand more effectively and skillfully so student on your slide you can see the picture of skill man so it was said that the first evidence of these species means skill man was found in the border region between tanzania and kenya in the continent of africa you can see on the map which is that on your slide so to survive in this harsh environment because in those days the land was totally covered with ice sheet hence the climate was very cold 
student yet our ancestor didn't learn about the fire so to survive in this harsh climate these species need to develop physically and mentally strong to face all these circumstances student on your screen you can see the scientists mr and mrs leeke so this scientist mr and mrs leeke discovered these species and named them as homo habilis because beside the fossils of homo habilis they found some tools which were made by homo habilis louis leeke was a britisher paleoanthropologist and archaeologist whose work was important in demonstrating that human evolved in africa particularly through this discovery made at all jewais goose it was leeke who managed to convince the scientific community and the world that the cradle of mankind was on the dark continent a hypothesis that is still valid today he founded one of the most famous family sages in the history of science leeke's not only push back the birth of the human line age but the dating of the remains older than the asians also convinced that the cradle of humanity was african and should be so in place like all jewais goes so the scientist louis leeke discovered the scale man and given them a new name as homo habilis so in latin homo means man and habilis means the one who uses his hand skillfully homo habilis could stand on two feet and walk his spine was slightly bent and not quite erect his brain was bigger than that of the apes although his face and limbs were some somewhat similar to theirs the features such as flat face and large morals the brain size of them were about 700 cc the genes homo is used to describe human like creatures including modern human like you so student it is said that homo habilis are our ancestor although we have never met them because they are now extinct they lived 1.4 million years ago homo habilis also known by the nickname as handy man because it had a slightly bigger brain than earlier fossils humans this larger brain increased the species ability to think the brain size along with some simple tools found near the fossils led the researchers to believe that homo habilis was one of the earliest human species to make and use stone tools which they crafted out of volcanoes and creek rocks student 
you can see in slide various stone tools which were made by homo habilis but all these stone tools were not useful for hunting big animals they used these tools for scraping meat from the skin of dead animals or breaking bone to get the marrows so student from all this evidence we can say that homo habilis was forager means a person or animal that search a wild wild animals for food they also ate the leftover of animals that had been hunted by other animals student it may be possible that he hunt small animals and gather eggs wild fruits and root to eat you can see on the slide it is mentioned life of this species was based on nature such as fruit fish were the part of their food he was not aware of fire so he ate raw and rough meats so you can see how the homo habilis is scraping the meat from the dead animal on your slide homo erectus student do you know this stage means what let's see homo erectus mark an important stage in human evolution your erectus means the one who stands erect and because of this the name has homo erectus it also means upright man student if we compare homo erectus to homo habilis they had more developed brain you can see on your slide that the first that the two man is given so upper that the brain is there so if we compare both homo habilis and homo erectus so as compared to homo habilis homo erectus brain are much quite developed these species were living in groups the features of homo erectus the brain case was low the forehead was recorded and the nose jaws and plates were wide the brain was smaller and the teeth larger than in modern humans you can see in your slide how they they are living in groups homo erectus learned about fire student when they were living in groups in forest they saw wild fire because of stormy wind that is due to stormy wind dry branches rubbed with each other and cause fire so it is said that homo erectus had learned the technique of fire therefore whenever they are they were in need of fire they start fetching the burning branches of trees to use them during homo erectus time the earth was mostly covered with ice sheet therefore the climate was very extremely cold but because of fire they survive in that in this harsh environment 
However, they were not mastered in technique of making fire. Fire also provide a source of warmth, protection from predator away and a good create more advanced hunting tools and method for cooking raw food such as meats. So after learning about a fire, Homo erectus people, they burn the fire and keep themselves warm and also started eating roasted meat. So you can see on your slide. Homo erectus tools. So, student, this species means Homo erectus were more developed and symmetrical as compared to Homo habilis. They made tools like hand axe and hammers, etc. These species were relatively large brain and were adept of tool also tool maker they were skilled in tool making which include creating new tools every time it could be compared to modern tools like hammers and knife they likely made ropes by twisting barks and grass. They also use sharp flax produced in the fashioning process. Wooden tools and weapons are also assumed to be present in their kits. Their tools such as choppers, cleavers, flax, knives, scrapers, all these tools have been found along these species in the continent of Africa, Asia and Europe. You can see the map on your screen. These tags help them in hunting and keep them safe from wild animals too. Homo neanderthalensis. So, student, after Homo habilis and Homo erectus, one more stage of development in human evolution was Homo neanderthalensis. These species were big and strong. They commonly known as the Neanderthal man because his remain was first found in Netherlands, which is in Germany. They probably were extinct due to competition with extermination by immigrating, immigrating or due to great climate change or disease. Neanderthal men are known for numerous fossils. These species had more strong build and proportionally shorter limbs. These species often explain to conserve heat in cold climate. The brain case of these species of men and women were average. Their appearance look were large nose, strong double arch eyebrow, rigid, relatively short and stocky bodies. They ate meat, plants, fungi and even cell fishes. Neanderthal species were cold adapted as with their facial features their body proportions 
well variable however in general they pose relatively shorter lower limbs extremities compared with the upper arms and legs and a broad chest the arms and legs must have been massive and heavenly muscle this body build would have protected the extremities against damage from cold stress many have delayed maturation in netherland children this species lack the capacity for complex communication such as spoken language neanderthal species lived in caves student as we learn that after homo habilis homo erectus started living in group learned about fire so these species too primarily lived in cave by lighting the lamp for lighting and to keep them warm they made tools out of big pebbles as well as from the flags scraped off from them so on your screen you can see that this species were physically big and strong and how they were killing the big animals and the tools of these species tools of neanderthals man student on your screen you can see the tools of these species tools were fixed on a bone or wooden shaft to make weapons like the spear axe etc these species hunted big animals with the help of scrapers which they made from stone flags use them to scrape meat from the hides of dead animals food of neanderthal man so these species used leather cloth for from the hides of dead animals these species were mainly meat eaters they too learn about the fire so also ate roasted meat they knew the art of making fire by rubbing hard wood stick on each other or by striking one flint stone on another to obtain spark it was also noted the use of feathers claws and shells which were purposefully modified and probably worn as well as regularly ancient and simple designs on bones and fragments of stones and in caves all this art you can see on your slide art of making fire so student in this module we learn how these species invent the fire so after invention of a fire these species were eating roasted meat such as fish animal meats etc in a great quantity so it was suggested 
that these species had a broad diet student on your screen you can see different technique or we can say method that how these species were trying to trying to make the use of fire and invent of a invention of a fire let's do the recap of our module 1 skilled man known as homo habilis homo habilis compared to homo erectus who had more developed brain these species survive in extremely cold climate as they learn to use fire homo neanderthalis was physically big and strong neanderthals learned the art of making fire evaluation first fill in the blanks homo erectus marks an important stage in human dash answer is evolution second the scientist louis nicky who discovered these species named it dash homo habilis third Homo habilis was a dash answer forager true or false in latin homo means man answer is true second homo habilis was not a forager answer is false because they were a forager third homo erectus made tool like the hand axe answer is true answer the following what does homo habilis means answer is homo habilis means the one who uses his hands skillfully second what does homo erectus means answer homo erectus means the one who stand erect give reason first homo habilis was a foragers answer is homo habilis was a forager because he ate the leftovers of animals that had been hunted by others second homo erectus could survive during the ice age answer is during the i during the time of homo erectus the earth was covered with ice sheets and the climate was extremely cold so homo erectus had learned the use of fire he could survive the extreme climate third the human species homo neanderthalensis was known as the neanderthal man because answer is because the human species homo neanderthalensis was commonly known as the neanderthal man because his remain were first found in netherlands which is in germany thank you student